Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. It's Akizial here, and today I'll be reacting to who Fabius Bile is judged by Slanesh by Burial Goods. This was requested by Tempest Ari on the Discord. But I've never watched anything by Burial Goods before, but as, uh, uh, as always, I do recommend in checking out the original video a link to which will be in the description box below and show them some love or give them a like and, and without further ado le let's get into it and who are you then name yourself I am the whetstone and desire I oh. am the asker of questions ah well if it wasn't already obvious in the title this would definitely give it away as, as Slanesh. And I have a feeling where this is gonna go, because if I remember correctly, it, Fabius Bile well, does not believe in gods, more so in that he has figured out the nature of chaos. I am the Questor. I have never heard of you. Of course you have. We have met many times, and we will meet again. Before the last sun sets and the galaxy goes dark forevermore, I was with you in the temples of the lair, and I sat at your elbow as you raised up the first children of your genius from the nutrient soup. That you could not see me is no matter. I was there, and I saw you. <laughs> Fabius felt a flicker of unease as the pale gaze pierced him through. You know, I would be willing to say that that uh, like, or rather, I or I I would guess there's not so much the the he couldn't see Slanesh, but that he did, but that that he dismissed Slanesh. The Kairogian twitched as if it shared his uncertainty. The Questor's smile was like a scalpel grating on bone, and he clapped again. The world seemed to shake. One by one, the sensor feeds in Fabius's armor went dark, and its confines became stifling. Quickly, he tore loose his helmet. The air felt still and heavy. Not from the expected atmospheric pressure, but instead, what? It was as if the world had somehow stopped in its rotation, and everything else had clattered to a sudden, irresistible halt. Fabius looked around. The red of the world had faded to a rusty haze, and the members of the Phoenix Conclave were as statues. Even Eidolon stood frozen in mid-gloat, and Alkinex still poised to spring. Fabius turned, his breath straining in his lungs. So it's kind of like like what happened to Horus, this where in where he was in his mind for what seemed like years i think it was but in reality it had been like what i think it was like what a month in in real space time like the things that things things that the that the ruinous power showed him things in billowing like fog from beneath chapped lips sweat beaded and turned to ice on his face he felt overtaxed as if he'd run for days what have you done? He demanded. His words fell flat. The echoes stifled at conception. Some trick of witchery? Nothing so crude. Merely a moment stretched to his utmost. The quester floated closer. To my perception, all time is thus. A collection of eternal moments. One leading into the next with infinite slowness. Why? Which is also part of how, well, for those who don't know, chaos is timeless. If, which is also why, despite the fact that I, that I, uh, he personally have some objections with some of the implications this causes, it does mean that once a, once a chaotic entity, he coalesces, reality is thus altered, altered, so as so as they retroactively always existed 
This is the moment of testing. The moment your hearts are weighed against the Phoenix's feather. Are you not curious of the outcome? Not remotely. I know my worth, and I know my crimes. This court holds no jurisdiction over me. <laughs> Thalia straightened, trying to slow his heart rate. His muscles strained against unknown pressures. It was as if he stood at the bottom of a vast ocean, and the weight of thousands of fathoms pressed down on him. Its jurisdiction extends far beyond your ability to conceive, Alchemist. You have committed crimes of such monstrous elegance that even the gods themselves grow uneasy. <laughs> Fabius Bile till, till making making the ruinous powers uneasy. He has many accomplishments, but as well, that's another one to add. Hmm. Although, also, the description of, of the of having a, the weight of the the ocean, ocean coming down upon him as it as if to crush him. In the, and I've heard 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 that for well non psychers that is is that being in the presence of a very powerful psyker such as hmm can similar to the comparison of say the what happens to people just being in proximity of the tyranid hive mind can cause very unpleasant things to happen. So having the influence of of the Dark Prince of Pleasure here surrounding you. Well, I, get, I suppose now we know what it's like to have the direct attention of one of the Chaos Gods. Look, see, they sit in judgment of you. A two-long finger drifted upwards, and Fabius followed the gesture. He looked up, and something looked down. It was not a face, for a face was a thing of limits and angles, and what he saw had neither. It stretched as far as his eyes could see, as if it were one with the whole of the sky and the firmament above. Things that might have been eyes, or distant moons, or vast constellations of stars looked down at him, and a gash in the atmosphere twisted like a lover's smile. It studied him from an impossible distance, and he felt the sharp edge of its gaze cut through him, layer by layer. There was pain in that gaze, and pleasure as well. Agony and ecstasy, inextricable and inseparable. With great effort, he tore his gaze away. Oh, my mistake! Pick earlier then, and and so the and so the quester is or is just I assume a greater demon of Slanesh then. There is nothing there. He snarled, <laughs> his teeth cracking against each other, his heart stuttered, suddenly losing their rhythm. He pounded at his chest as internal defibrillators sent a charge of electricity shrieking through him. The Kyrogen flooded his system with tranquilizers, and he tapped shakily at his vambrace. A secondary solution of mild stimulants joined the tranquilizers, stabilizing him. He ignored the urge to look up. There was nothing there. Nothing at all. There is nothing there, he said again, tasting blood. There are no gods, only cold stars in the void. The pressure increased. Something whispered deep within him. It scratched at the walls of his mind, trying to catch his attention. He ignored it. No gods, he repeated. Random confluence of celestial phenomena. Interdimensional disasters echoing outwards to our perceptions. I think, therefore I am. They do not, so they are not. He met the quest's bland gaze unflinchingly. Gods are for the weak. I am not weak. The quest nodded expectantly. Rude. Oh, 
although I do get to get at what he means means by that. At because is is well, well as I've mentioned before or about or in 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 a previous reaction regarding regarding being the secrets of the warp or or which uh or which i will i will not go over in its entirety lest azrael of the dark angel show up to interrogate me again and for and for i'm clearly clearly not not but a but a Worshiper of the Ruinous Powers, most definitely. I definitely don't know all the secrets of the warp. But if I were someone who knew the secrets of the warp, I would say that, yeah, that, Fa that, that Fabius Vile is, is right. It, and, and, and what people think of as the Chaos Gods are not, in fact, but actually gods. And they, and they operate more on instinct. To the to the point where they will ultimately be self-destructive. No. Well, that that was that was fun to watch, and I hope you all enjoyed watching with me. Uh, if you did, I'd appreciate you like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps. Oops. And and also once again, and I recommend that everyone take a look at Burial Goods channel and give them some love. But until next time, ta-ta, and have a wonderful day.